Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix controller is not working or it is not detecting on Silent Hill F and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about we need to uh, enable or disable the Steam input. So you just need to go over here, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, go to controller. Now from here, go to use uh, default setting. This should be first change it into enable the Steam input. Then you have to launch the game. If that is not working, you have to change it to disable the Steam input. Then you have to launch the game. Either one will be working fine. Either enable the Steam input or you can try with disabling the Steam input. Any one of these will be working fine and this is what you have to do. Once you're done with this one, still if you're having the trouble, the next one is all about we need to select the game controller which you want to add then you have to restart the steam and relaunch the game to do so we have to go over here search for setup usb game controller sorry search here usb setup usb game controller you have to search here click on this one now from here you have to select the controller okay so for me i don't have the controller right now so once after you get into this, you have to connect your controller. So controller will be available here. Once you set into, once the controller is shown here, you have to click on the advanced and you have to select the which controller. For example, if I try to connect the Xbox controller, you will be having option for Xbox and the PlayStation. So you have to select which, which controller you wanted to add. For example, if you're adding the Xbox controller, you will be having an Xbox popping up over here. In my case, I don't have it. That is the reason I'm not showing, but you have to find it. Then click on Advanced and find the or select the Xbox controller. Then you can just go for OK. Then you can just go for OK. Then you have to go to the game and you have to launch it and you have to check that might work. Next one is all about we need to go to Device Manager. So go over here. Search for the Device Manager. Click on the Device Manager. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to expand this and go over here, find human over here. You have to find HID, human interface device. Now from here, you have to find something called key cron keyboard, but I don't have it. For some users, they might be having it, the key cron keyboard. If you find it, right click on it and go for disable it. If you find it, you have to disable it. After disabling, also check if you find any external uh, devices like external keyboard, mouse, hotas, wheels, pedals, razors, etc. Any kind of external devices that is connected, everything should be unplugged. After unplugging, even the controller, you have to do it and then you launch the game. Once you launch the game and you are in the game, you can just connect it back. Then you can continue with the controllers and that might work. Next one is all about we need to select uh, the right the playstation control should be selected in the control panel so just go over here search for the control panel click on the control panel now from here you have to go to hardware section so just go over here change it to category go to hardware and sound click on the sound now from here you have to go to over here now we have to add your controller once the controller is added you have to select it and go to the properties i don't have it the reason with I'm not demonstrating you is because I don't have a controller. So I usually play with keyboard and mouse. So once you add an external controller, you will be having it. So right click on this one and go to the properties and go to, oh, here you have to go to, uh, you have to go to general, not sorry, not here. You have to go to, Okay, what you need to do is just do one thing. Once the controller is available here, right click on this one and make sure it is enabled. That is very important. And once you enable it, you have to check. Similarly, always try to use wired connection. You should not be using the wireless connection on the game. That might be even causing the issue. So make sure you are always using wired connection. And also you have to, if you're on the uh, inner Xbox users, try updating your Xbox accessories app. So we need that will be available in the Play Store. So sorry, not Play Store. It will be available in the Microsoft Store. So just go over here, click on the Microsoft Store. And once you get into the Microsoft Store, what you need to do is you just need to go over here, search for Xbox accessory apps. You have to search here for Xbox accessories. Now from here, you just need to click on uh, over here and you have to launch it. And once you launch it, that will work fine. And that is what you have to do. So you have to launch it and that might work. So as you can see, this is what it is. 
now uh, you have to i don't have any kind of controller that is the reason i'm not showing i'm sorry for that but you have to get this particular accessory app and you have to open it if i try to open it it might say i don't have controller but you should be having a controller and once you have the controller you have to update it from here will be able to update it and after updating most probably that's going to help you guys out and this is what you have to do and i hope this kick video is helpful that's it bye bye